Hey guys, it's Computability. I'm Scott Liberto, and I'm back with all brand new episodes. Tonight, we're going to be featuring the Samsung Galaxy S4. Uh, we've got John, uh, Jonathan Jones, he's a rep for Samsung, and he's going to be demonstrating uh, the Galaxy S4, uh, the best and exclusive features. So uh, it's going to be coming up next on this episode of the Computability Show. Oh man, it's so good to be back. There's been a lot of brand new things that's happened since I've been gone. Um, I can't wait to get to the Samsung Galaxy S4 part, but first of all, it's a little bit about me because I have been gone for a while and I kind of have to let you guys know what happened to me. Well, it's been a year and I decided that I was going to, first of all, redo all of my equipment. So I'm going to give you sort of a overview this is what it looks like in here and so um, I've got this giant streaming machine that's uh, been completely revamped also my website uh, compute-ability.com you gotta visit it because I'm telling you um, I put more into it um, I think uh, I think Rome was uh, <laughs> Rome wasn't built in the day, man, and this website sure wasn't either, so I'm pretty proud of it. Uh, I think I got, let's see, I got a little video of it. There you go. That's what my website looks like now. All brand new logos. Um, take a look through. Um, I've divided everything up into how-tos, interviews, news, and reviews, and uh, I think you're going to enjoy it. Also, I've got a brand new job. I'm working for Verizon Wireless Cellular Sales, so I'm an account manager there, and I'm able to sell you any kind of phone uh, from Verizon Wireless, and one of them is going to be definitely the Samsung S3. So give me a phone call or go to my website, uh, click on the Verizon tab, and uh, I'd really like to see if I can uh, sell you a phone. And so uh, without any uh, further uh, ado, um, I'm going to bring on Jonathan. So welcome, Jonathan. Good to see you, man. Oh, thank you for so having me. So good to see you. Absolutely. That that intro, it's so exciting. It gets me pumped up. Yeah, I love man. that music. Uh, I love it. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> it's sort of an 80s thing, but it's rock. You know, I like to hear a little guitar riff. And, oh, yeah. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. So we picked <laughs> that one out, and I was like, that one is what we're going to roll with. Awesome. I love it. So, um, first of all, I, I just want to say thank you for coming here today and spend, spending the time. Um, you're a rep for uh, Samsung, and so uh, can yes. you just tell me what you do for your job on a daily basis? Absolutely. Well, I, I cover a territory within the Central Florida area, and mm -hmm. what I basically do is I go to from store to store, and I make sure that everyone is uh, equipped with the knowledge they need to, uh, to really emphasize the features of these devices to the best ability to show all the great features but in a way that they can actually understand them and actually relay them to their customers. And I sort of find that when it comes to these phones there there's so many features and it isn't that they're so complicated there's just so many things you can do with that so I'm really glad that you're here today because we're going to talk about some of those features and get you guys to know that everybody can own one if you're a corporate if you uh, if you work for a corporation Absolutely. or if you have never used one there's even an easy mode that we're going to be talking oh, about absolutely yeah but let's just take a good look now I haven't pulled out the cap cam for a while I'm gonna totally geek out on you guys okay so here is my cap cam no, the cap cam will never, never go away. So here we go. Let's get this. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. It looks like Tron or something. Okay, where's my? Uh, where's? There we go. So this is it right there, huh? Absolutely beautiful screen uh, housed in a new casing. And this is the uh, highlighting the uh, the actual the S View flip cover case, which is new, which is very very user friendly gives you the the nice little s window right there so you can actually see all your calls you can answer your calls as they come in just with a slide of the screen as well as one of the key things that we took away from this one if you're taking your pictures you can actually still take a photo right through the case oh, so see, you really have cool. the best of both worlds yeah that is nice i do like and look how thin it is you guys have to see 
I mean, I know you guys seen videos and stuff of it, but you gotta see it in person. Show it to the other side so we can see the the actual metal of it. There we go. Actually, I'm gonna put on the cap cam one more time because I've got it off my head. I'm gonna be holding this puppy. Give it to me. <laughs> Come here, baby. Bring me my baby back. Bring me my baby back, baby back, baby back. Anyway, so yeah, this is it's beautiful. How much does this weigh? Do you know? With that one, uh, the exact weight on that guy there is only three ounces less than the GS3. So if you're familiar okay. with the Galaxy S3, okay. it's even lighter than what we had before. But what we were able to do was actually make that device even narrower than our previous device and make the screen bigger. So the way I towed it is that it's actually more to see and yet less to hold. So, so I hear that this is a uh, this isn't really a five-inch screen. Is that true? Wait, wait. No, I, I, I just want to. I just want to say something. I thought five-inch screen was what it was all about, but this is a 4.99-inch screen. Okay. W what happened there? Well, you know, it was uh, one day in the lab. I'm just joking. Well, you know, it's uh, it's easier to uh, to actually um, associate with uh, a rounded number, and 4.99 is just shy of five, there we five go. inches. Makes it easier just it, to uh, to associate with that. And if you ask me, <clears throat> you couldn't have fit more into this screen. It's it's pretty it's pretty unbelievable. Um, Absolutely, how much you fit onto it because it doesn't have any any edge to absolutely cool. and they the bezel on this guy there is really really small and what they actually were able to do was a uh, to house this 1080p screen uh with 441 pixels per inch which you're really packing a really powerful uh uh visual aesthetics in this device so you really have a phenomenal screen plus it's a corning gr uh, gorilla glass 3 which oh, is yeah. one of the newer gorilla glasses that's out there right now I mean, oh, yeah. there's a lot more you can do with that it's like it's capacity. like 30 percent or so I, I don't have the exact stats but it's it's a lot stronger than the previous one indeed and and Corning is the maker of uh, the the Gorilla Glass, and and it's like I think one of the first ones to come out with the Gorilla Glass Three. Absolutely, we okay. were the first device to come out with that, which is awesome. The first, the first. Okay, so congratulations, man. Thank you. You know, it was hard. I love work first. Out, uh, okay, <laughs> I, I love you know letting people know that this is the one that if you're looking for something that's a little tougher in the screen area, because I've heard things about hey, it's got a plastic back and it doesn't have, you know, something. I think the fact that it's got such a strong uh, front to it and something happens to the back, you can replace it, is a really good feature. Absolutely. So, pretty cool stuff. And uh, let's just go over the basic stats. 13 megapixel camera. Yes, absolutely. Uh, so, it's got the CPU. It's a, it's a quad-core Snapdragon. Absolutely. Which, extremely powerful. And that one is uh, snap the Snapdragon 600 processor, which is going to really cook on the, and scream on the Verizon network, especially with the data speeds that this guy has. Yeah. It's got phenomenal. Yeah, and I, I do like pairing um, a device like this. It's such a um, juggernaut as far as the speed and kind of everything that it has in it that, you know, Verizon, it's going to do a great job on it. And, yes, I am pushing Verizon. <laughs> I guys let you know that I'm going to be a Verizon addict. I have been for – I went to the, um, I went to the uh, Great Wall of China, and I did – uh, stream using a Verizon incredible phone. So and you didn't bring me. I know, I know, but you know, I got a doggy bag. I'll take it. Where it, is it? Uh, it? Well, it's got real dog in it. You okay with that? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. So uh, just to move on, 16 megabytes, right? Of of RAM. Exactly. Uh, 16 megabit, or I'm sorry, 16 megs on board. So you also have two gig of RAM. So you have plenty of uh, power to run any application and even run multiple applications at the same time. Okay. Cool. And uh, what else? It's got a battery, uh, uh, two, uh, uh, 2600. 2600 milliamp, milliamps, and we had yeah. a nice increase, so you really can actually use this device to its full extent and not have to worry about battery life at all. Awesome. And so I want to go over a few of my favorite pit, uh, my uh, favorite features. Absolutely. Um, one of my favorite features about it is definitely the the draw to me. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's got a great, it's got a 1080 screen. I know it's got a 1080 screen, but what I really like is the camera. Uh, now, you went from 8 to 13 megapixel. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Absolutely. You know what? One of the things that we wanted to make sure was that we had great camera quality, but not only just great camera quality, we wanted to be make you able to do actually more things with your camera. So we noticed that the key thing for most customers is the camera, and that is actually what we actually strive to make sure that we have a, a great experience with. So as we pull up here, I'm going to be actually showing this off of the All Share Wireless Hub, which is this guy right here. And I have right now the oh, camera that's, really that's actually cool. pulled up. 
let's talk about that wireless hub for one second. So you're streaming a lot. You're not even physically attached. Nope, not at all. Hold hold it up so they can see it. So he's not even attached and it's sending what 720 video through it, right? Absolutely. To this little device right here. Absolutely, and it's 100% okay, cool. remote because with this one, all it needs is an HDMI cable to plug into your TV and a power source. And it uses Wi-Fi Direct to actually connect your your connection to the to the actual hub, and you can transmit uh, anything that's on your phone. You can actually stream back and forth. It's the screen mirroring effect. Cool. And by the way, we're probably gonna we don't worry about how long this episode is. We're just gonna keep going. Oh, awesome! Because because it's such good stuff. You know, I wanna you know when you, when when you hit gold, you just keep mining. Do you have gold? Well, you are. Awesome. You got it in your hands. All yeah. right. Well, this guy is gold. Absolutely. Yep. So camera, as you can see here on the on the screen, is phenomenal. I'm going to pull this one over so you can actually see it in full screen here. Now, as you notice, the first thing right here, I'm going to tap on the guy right down there at the bottom. You have your live filter. So this is something new for us. So, okay, so Slow down a little bit. Let's go over each of these. Absolutely. Okay, so let's go over the filters. So first thing, the filters. We noticed that a lot of our customers, they, they love being able to customize their viewing experience when it comes down to their photos. So as you touch this little angle right here at the bottom, and you can kind of see my finger as it kind of goes over that highlighted section Ooh, there. It tickles. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't know if it was good for you. Well, why, thank you. <laughs> so as you I'll see here. I'll your back, okay? <laughs> uh, Go ahead. Uh-oh. Go ahead. Uh, so as you see here, we have our different filters, yeah. which are phenomenal. So filters is the new thing that we added in, and they're live filters, so you can see what it's going to look like before you take your photo. Yeah. Next, as I kind of highlight this section over here, you can see that we have our dual cam. So as we saw earlier, 13 megapixel camera in the in the rear facing camera, 2 megapixels in the front. So what that's great for is the ability to actually use your, your dual camera. So no longer are you uh, withheld from the photos that you take. Mm -hmm. A lot of times we'll see where, <laughs> where you'll see there's those photos that you might be trying to like squish yourself back into the photo taking yeah. those weird self shots right now you can actually get the yourself into a photo anytime you want and awesome. you can switch the focal point and then not only that you also have some different uh different little hearts and shapes that you can actually use oh i love computability i love it <laughs> so you have your dual cam and that can be worked in video recording mm -hmm. also for uh if you use chat on which is one of our instant messaging applications you can video chat through uh dual cam as well as you can take your photos of course now now i got a question about or i want to i've got a comment about that uh, i saw a commercial on uh i know right <laughs> I, I saw a commercial um for this and it was a woman showing her face while her child was taking its first steps which is really nice because you know people do not get into the picture Indeed. and so here they get to be into the picture so you know they're present you get to see their face and so you're recording both of them at the same time so i think this feature is like it's it's been a long time coming and it works really well and i think the processing power of this finally makes it possible so having the quad core and everything so absolutely cool. Neil, i'm glad that you mentioned that so let's kind of talk about some of the new features or the new modes that we added in excellent as you see here we we took some of the uh the aesthetics of some of our Galaxy camera devices, yep. and we kind of threw it right there into the actual camera, so you can or the of this GS4. So as you see here, we have some of our all-time favorites that were brought in from our previous devices, yep. like your best photo, best faces. Yep. But as you mentioned, the kids, there's one that's called Sound and Shot. So yep. now, if you uh, if you see your kid taking that first step, yeah. you can record your own voice saying, "Hey, there's Johnny taking his first steps." Oh, cool. So you have that one right there. There's also Drama Shot, which takes twelve photos in succession and it gives you the opportunity to put yourself into a photo up to 12 different times which is awesome okay cool. our next new now, one now i want to say something in, the, in order for us to do that then it has to be able to take in a lot of light in a short amount of time so, absolutely so it's a better camera that takes in the more uh the more light and then it's a processing power that allows it to to do all that at the same time so Okay. You let's, hit the nail on the head. Let's move it on. Next one is our animated photo, which is a five-second video clip in which it's a, basically a GIF file. Mm -hmm. So you take a five-second video clip that's on a loop, yep. and you can freeze a portion of the frame, and it actually will just freeze that one portion. Everything else continues to move in that uh, in that video. Okay. We also have our HDR, which is also consistent with our previous devices, but my absolute favorite is the eraser mode. Okay. Ever been photobombed? Uh, yeah, yeah, I've been photobombed more than a few times. Yep. Don't like it, do yep. you? Well, see, I'm like born to be photobombed. I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's like, okay, they just put hands up here like this. It's like, okay, I look like a lizard. 
<laughs> oh, so got no, it. You know what? No longer do you have to be the lizard. Okay, no, no lizard. <laughs> no lizards anymore. So you have the eraser mode where you can uh, preemptively take that eraser mode and uh-huh. put it on. Yeah. So if you know that there's going to be people uh, moving in the foreground or the background of your fo- photo, right. and this you can, can just happen that. to accidental photo bombs. Maybe something got in the way temporarily. You can erase. So, exactly. So it's it's almost like a. Um, it's it's almost like a uh, a time machine for your camera. <laughs> Ooh, I love time I like machine. That. You guys know I love time machines. So and I covered the DeLorean, and you know, I by the way, I drove the DeLorean for Back to the Future. Oh, I think I did see, I catch I caught that. Eighty eight miles per hour does nothing, nothing. Huh. Well, it, d- it does do something. It gets you a ticket. That just killed all my hopes and dreams. I'm telling you. So I'm just letting you know. Wow. <laughs> okay, cool. So, so uh, what else? Anything else? And you know what? Since we actually looked at, at these camera modes, there's one that if, if I can show you really, really quickly, mm-hmm. one that I absolutely yeah. love is the uh, is the animated photo. I'm going to pull up one real, real, real quick, which is uh, one of my nephew, and just to kind of give you the aesthetics of what this can actually look and, look and feel like. So I'm going to go into my gallery right mm-hmm. over here, and I'm going to go into my demo. Mm-hmm. So here we have my nephew, which cute little guy here. So I was actually able to take a freeze frame of him right here. Let's slide back over. So here we have him. He gets really into the Nintendo Wii, I, I tell you. I, I don't know where his aggression comes from. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a five-second loop. I was able to freeze him in his beginning state, and then everything just else just kind of like flows right through okay, there. Okay, cool. Awesome, awesome video captures. Cool, excellent. Good stuff. Yes. I love those features. Um, let's see, what else do we have on there? Uh, photo album. Absolutely. And so one of the other things that we found is that a lot of our customers previously, they have those family members that may live in another city, another state, or just for themselves. They want to actually have a hard copy of the photos that they took. So as we see here, I'm going to go into my photo album, or I'm sorry, my story album, which is right here. Tap mm-hmm. it up. Yep. And so I'm going to pull in one of my story albums here. And it basically takes all the photos that you might have taken over any given point of time, and it kind of puts them into their own story album, scrapbook. And then if you like, you can also go back in, order a photo book, and we have an agreement through a company called Blurb, which you, you all probably have heard of. And you can actually order a hard copy book from anywhere between $8 to $30 for anything up to 74 pages worth of pictures, which is awesome. Okay, so somebody, uh, like a scrapbooker, mm-hmm. or maybe they took some pictures during a wedding and says, I yeah. want to give a good gift. Or just somebody says, I went on this vacation and no, you couldn't come, but this is what I did. Or maybe this is what my family did. You know, here's something that you can take with you. So, and it's a keepsake all at the same time. So, Absolutely. And of course, with the 13 megapixel camera, you're doing something pretty special, which I really like. Now, let's move on. Here's my other, my other second favorite feature, okay? Um, <laughs> nobody, I'm telling you, nobody should go their life without a smartphone. But it, a smartphone that's also a universal camera, I mean, universal uh, remote control, that is for me. Because, see, I, the way I lead my life is I'm carrying my phone with me all the time, from the time I wake up to the time I go to sleep. And so um, what, I, what I really like is the ability to um, use my uh, phone to control my TV. Because it's right there. And plus... You know, this way it's an extra remote control. My mm-hmm. wife has one. She has one. So, you know, mm-hmm. we, we don't have to fight over it or anything. Or she goes to sleep. I've got mine sitting beside me, you know, <laughs> charging at night. And so a universal remote control, it's like it's about time. Now, you've had you've had infrared on some other devices. You've had it on the other tabs. Absolutely. And this is not a new feature, but for a phone, right? Absolutely. So in our tablets, as you, as you already mentioned, we mm-hmm. use a company called Peel, and we actually partnered with Peel to make a really user-friendly uh, uh, application called Watch On. So we're going to cue this up here. It's on what? Watch On? Uh, yes. Yeah, so it's uh, Samsung okay. Watch On. Okay, cool. Um, so as you see here, tapping up the uh, the application, it's already pre-downloaded, so you don't have to use anything else. You have your infrared right there on the top of the device. So first thing that we see here is the Just For You section. So there's a tab right here, which allows you to see all your, your different sections, but the Just For You is a recommendation spot. So as you watch your shows, it progressively learns and basically shows you uh, the shows that are based on the ones you've already seen. So cool. as we tap on this section here, 
You'll actually see you have your next portion, which is your favorites. You have your TV shows. You can break this down into separate categories. But what I love is you can also go into the channel guide. So from here, you can see all the channels that are on right now. You know what? I feel like a ninja right now. So, <laughs> <laughs> so as you see here, American Ninja, which... You might no, you won't see me on this show. American <laughs> Ninja Warrior. Oh, so he almost karate chops somebody. There's a right new, there. there's a new episode that's out, man. I love that program. And you know what? Let's say you're out and about and you uh -huh. can't watch that show here. You right. can actually see it right here. You have your watch now, where you can actually change the channel right there to it, or there you can you record it right here from the application. I love that. Okay. Absolutely. And so what you also so see here? So don't leave home without it. I mean, it, it's what what this is is a s smartphone remote control. Smart remote. Smart remote. Okay. I love it. So it's an internet connected remote control that you can hook up for multiple uh, infrared devices around your house. But it's not only remote control. It also is a remote, literally a remote control for like your TV or DVR, right? Absolutely. Okay. So it works on your set-top boxes. It works Excellent. on your TVs, of course. And it doesn't matter if it's a smart TV or not. Anything that takes an infrared will actually uh, be able to use with this device. Yeah. Uh, and then you can also tie this in with any TV. So if you go to another city, maybe you go to a hotel mm -hmm. and you want to change the channels from there, all you need is a TV provider and then that's it. Awesome. So what you also see is you have your manual controls. As I'm oh, see, th this is the cool part right here. <laughs> you okay. love this. And th this is what I like because this right here, and you have to realize the size of this. This is this is really. Um, I'm going to hold this up so you guys can see. Uh, do we have a side view here? I know one of these is side view. Did we ever get one? Is this right here? No, we didn't get that right there. We'll just go go with this. Okay. Look how big that is. That is a nice size remote control. You're able to see this in the dark. Just remember, mm -hmm. just the fact that it's lit up, I think it's pretty cool. So um, I love it. Okay, so go on. So absolutely. So you have the manual controls here, which is just your consistent volume up and volume down. As you can see, I'm kind of changing the channels here, going up on the volume. You can change your source. If you wanted to actually tie this in with maybe your DVR box, from here you can go into a little bit more depth. So as you see here, you can go to your up, your back, your uh, your OK button, your pause, your rewind. So you have everything that a universal remote can ever ask for. Right. Uh, but what you also have, I'm sorry. Asking about the battery. Uh, for the whole device. Uh, so battery life on this guy, it's all consistent on how you actually use your device. And, and that was from the chat room. Little question from the chat room. Hey, Absolutely. chat room, we're doing this live, guys. Uncle Al, thanks for the question, Uncle Al. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you, Uncle Al. And uh, to tie that in, it, it's all in how you use your device. It's 2600 milliamp with a quad-core processor. So those quad-cores can really help you save battery life by sharing the workload. So if you were to, let's say, use like Netflix, you would actually have about four and a half hours straight Netflix. Um, and then you can go all the way up to about eight hours if you're really pushing the limits. But it's really in how you use your device. Okay, cool. Good thank, stuff. Thank you for the question. So, absolutely. Thank you. And then just to tie it back into the universal remote here with the with the watch on application. Now, you have all these great things, but you know what? This is a lot to actually go through and sometimes. Mm -hmm. And for me, what I love is that in the notification panel, see how I have it right here? I can drag my notification panel, and if I just wanted to maybe go from ESPN1 to ESPN2, I can just pull down my notification bar just oh, like cool. that. Oh, easy. Channel up, channel down. Just that easy. Okay. Channel up, channel down. <laughs> channel up, channel down. That sounds like the bot. <laughs> A Are little bit the like the No, I'm not the bot. <laughs> I am not the bot. Uh, Tom Servo is the bot, and Zoltron is the bot. I am not the bot. They are the bot. The chat room is the bot, so... So let's uh, let's go on. Let's move on past uh, the remote, which is a, so you heard my two favorite features there. We're gonna move on with. Let's see, where are we here? Uh, safe knocks. Nope. Yep. 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 Safe safes. Safe knocks. So can you? Okay. So there's something called safe and knocks. Okay. And I'm a little little confused between the two because I've heard these being said. I've read a little bit about them, but. You know, how does safe knocks apply to me or to the everyday person? A absolutely. And, you know, these are features that can actually be tied into to absolutely anyone. So some you may use, some may, you may not. But we've noticed that with our business customers, they've actually been going towards a BYOD or bring your own device type of enterprise server. Yeah. Where maybe a company might uh, want to 
get a diverse uh, plethora of devices. Right. Maybe they might want a BlackBerry and a Samsung. So this actually gives you more opportunity to actually use multiple devices. Okay. So Samsung Safe is an acronym for Samsung for Enterprise, mm -hmm. which is a four-layered um, approach to security mm -hmm. uh, on top of our Android in, in general. So it offers you your corporate email, of course, your corporate calendar, things of that sort. Uh, you also have your VPN access, uh, which allows you to use your right. corporate That's applications uh, out there in the field, as well as on-device encryption. Mm -hmm. Now, on-device encryption can be used for uh, a business customer or for anyone in general mm -hmm. because it actually encrypts everything that's on your device, your pictures, those uh, files that you never want anyone else to see. It okay. basically locks them all into AES 256-bit encryption, okay. so everything is 100% safe. Okay. And it also gives you uh, MDMs, or mobile device managers. This is more so with the BYOD. So if a company says, you know what, you're going to have all that information on your device, mm -hmm. we want to make sure it's secure in some kind of way. So an so, MDM... So, so, so it separates your work life from your home life and it makes it secure so you're not giving away any secrets. Are you able to copy and paste between these modes? Absolutely not. So, so we can't this, even copy and paste. So let's say if you have an app, a picture that you want to bring into your business applications. Right, right. That can be done. Right, you can okay. actually take those and move them over to the business okay. side. However, on the business side, all your uh, information is uh, sandboxed in that area. Yeah. So it can be 100% safe. So if you take a picture, move it over, if it's company information, mm -hmm. it can't be sent out back to a personal. Okay, and by the way, um, I've got some beautiful uh, footage here. So Roll that like beautiful being footage. There you go. We are here at Samsung's <laughs> booth at Mobile World Congress 2013 taking a look at Safe for Knox. And so we're gonna take a look at the container interface. Uh, to launch Knox from your smartphone, your Galaxy smartphone, all you have to do is, on this device, it's, the icon is right here. You can move it around, obviously, but to get into Knox, uh, you're going to tap on there, and if we're logged out, you're going to have to type in a password. So let me just demonstrate that here, because most of the time, Knox is going to be locked, and you're going to have to type in a password to get in. So going back to the home screen here, and our, our password is QWERTY. Type that in, and obviously you would have a more complex password on your own device. Now we're in, so we have a, a slightly different interface here. Uh, it's a, a bit of a different skin, and so it's very easy to distinguish between the Knox interface and just the, the standard consumer interface that you get to uh, by hitting that personal icon right there. And so there's a timeout that can be configured between 5 minutes and 30 minutes. Uh, so we, we, we can flip back and forth if you need to take a phone call or, or call someone from your personal contacts or send an email uh, from your personal Gmail. You can flip back and forth as necessary as long as you're back to the interface before the timeout occurs. Okay, so that is safe and knock. So pretty cool. Pretty easy to remember knocks because I guess you think of... Uh, Fort Knox, right? Is that where? Exactly. Yeah. So that was our, our mantra for that. Yeah. What does SAFE stand for? It's uh, Samsung for Enterprise. Okay. Is, is Knox an acronym, acronym or is it just? It's just Knox. It just Knox. <laughs> it just Knox, huh? Correct. So we were looking at. Uh, exactly it's a Fort hard Knox life for Knox. It's just Knox. That's it. Ta da! <laughs> so just Knox and then Samsung, SA for Samsung, right? Mm hmm. And then. Uh, for enterprise. For enterprise. Okay, Correct. so the co combine the two, you've got a sandbox plus you have the security level, the two fifty six A AES two fifty six. So if okay, I can cool. note that uh, the one of the key things that we wanted you, to you, you can note. So there's a note right here. <laughs> you can, you can note right all you want. There's a note. <laughs> okay. So now, this is something that we're very very proud of, and uh, it's we're, it's we're the first Android device to actually come out with uh, uh, government level security. So uh, our devices can actually be used. Uh, and marketed towards like the Department of Defense, so we actually right. have a contract with them. So, we're so Obama might be able to have one. Yeah, y yeah. You never know. He, he started off with some sort of BlackBerry possible device or something like that. But <laughs> yeah, he was he was he was definitely a BlackBerry addict for sure. Um, but um, this would be government level. I don't know if Obama can actually use it, but regardless, it's a. Uh, it's secure for business environments, HIPAA standards, that sort of thing, exactly. and it's able to separate the two. Plus, the timeout feature is really nice, where you actually have to hit in a password or code in order for you to get in there. Plus, hey, I'm just saying, guys, if you're out there and uh, you know you want to fool around, you can always keep in sandbox your information because then I'm just saying. That. <laughs> oh, I'm my bad, my bad. I, no, don't do that. I was, I was just. Kidding about that. <laughs> Okay, anyway, that was a false <laughs> endorsement. Um, so to move on, 
Uh, other reason for <laughs> Knox. Now, let's let's move on. So it's a really cool feature. You're able to sandbox it, and, and you're good to go. Absolutely. So let's see. What else do we have here? We've got uh, we got Airview. Ooh. I know Airview. <laughs> Airview. So now for the first time, I guess you can move your hands and gesture as he uses the camera. Uses um, I don't know some sort of magic when you put your finger, and that's uh, that's uh, another way of doing it. So we're gonna set up a little camera here, and uh, get a little tripod camera all set up. So if I did everything correctly, well, we're gonna be able to see this. So so let's get this. Is that where we are right now? Yeah, I think we are. Easy yep. Mode, hmm? mode. Oh, oh yeah, easy. Yeah, we need to do easy mode. I forgot. How can I forget easy <laughs> mode? Um, for people who um, want to be able to use these, this device and have never used a smartphone before, they've actually taken the time to build a very easy to use interface. I I like to think of it like a jitterbug for. <laughs> Um, for smartphone users because it really is it's that simple um, it, it's simplified interface and it will get you started think of it like training wheels whatever you want to think of it but at the end of the day if you've never done a smartphone before and you're afraid that they're too hard we're gonna show you a few features that uh, it'll just make it that much easier for you so um, we do uh, go ahead you want to go ahead and uh, show Absolutely. that so I'm gonna pull it pull it back up again and go ahead. Awesome. So first, I'd like you to just kind of take note at how the screen looks. Uh, as you can see, this is a traditional uh, Android layout for the most part. I mean, we do have our TouchWiz, but this is what you basically see in an Android device uh, right now today. So what I'm going to do, and if you want to uh, take a look at this section here, uh, I'm going to drag down my notification bar. Mm -hmm. I'm going to hit on my settings, which is right there. And next, I'm going to click on my device, and I'm circling that, my device, and I'm going to go to my home screen mode. Now, yours may say uh, starter mode, and that's actually what is uh, the traditional uh, verbiage of it. Right. So I'm going to tap on this guy here, and I'm going to apply. So now what you can see is, as you quoted it, uh, the jitterbug yeah. <laughs> for a smartphone, <laughs> yeah, which I like not? that. I like that. Um, so as you can see here, you have your, your new home page, which is your weather, your calendar, your clock, nice and large larger icons which are easy it is easier to see right next you have your nine favorite uh, contacts really quick and easy to use um, and as well as your your call log right down here at the bottom uh, and as I kind of scroll back over here to the right so it's got three screens you've got your left screen you got your middle screen and you got your uh, right screen so, Absolutely. so so the main screen if you don't mind me going over a couple Absolutely. of these Go ahead. Um, this one right here um, you've got your time which is in large it's easy contrast so you're able to see it um, for weather it's it, it'll bring up a weather icon and you can get deeper and deeper into it just by clicking anytime you need to go back after that just go ahead and hit the home key and it's going to bring you right back to where you were before that's the button in the bottom also it has your camera your gallery uh, let's see your internet messaging just basically all the features that you would normally use then for people who want to do quick calls here you go <laughs> um, you've got your top favorites which you just go ahead and click on and you're able to add your favorites this very easily and then on the other side again basic functions uh, group play s memo calendar calculator I mean these are the things that are mostly used now you can always click on more apps it's going to bring you right to your other apps, right? In alphabetical order. And Absolutely. Good contrast for that. So I love easy mode. Um, since I sell these devices, people really need to realize that uh, they do have a way of getting. You know, not, you're not making a jump. You're making, you know, like small, you know, small steps until you actually graduate to to something that's going to be uh, your full fledged phone sooner or later. So Absolutely. Pretty cool. All right, so now we do have a uh, tripod we need to set up, so let's go ahead and do that. And if all goes well, we're not going to break anything. So <laughs> let's see what we're going to do here. Let's break things. <laughs> let's do it. Okay, so A, B, and C. So this is going to go over here. Go ahead and pull that out. Now pull this out right here. Okay, hold that so I can open up B and C. has to be in front of him. So the angle is going to be right. Oh, this is, yeah, there and there. And then this is in the wrong spot, but that's okay. There and there, and let's see what we've done. Where is my... Okay, almost. Almost there. 
There we go. Well, that's what I'm talking about. And we need to switch this. And making a little transition here, a little live transition. So give me a second. Uh, we, we're going to be doing the air gesture first. And so we want to put this right here in the middle. All right. And then we want to be able to zoom in on that. So let me see. We got this. And duplicate. Edit. And we're going to be putting this. It's all going to be about you doing these air gestures in a second. Good stuff. Oops. I don't. I did. I didn't need to move that. Page capture. Don't need to move that one. And. There, that's what I need to make bigger. Okay, so we want this. We're going to want uh, that just like that. And this can be moved out of the way. There we go. I think that's pretty good. Yeah, there and there. Can you can you reach around and get those? Absolutely. Okay, awesome. I'm going to pull this a little bit closer. Okay, you got them side by side. Okay, so he's going to show you how to do air gestures, okay? And we're going to have a little help by the uh, <laughs> little online stuff that's going on because they have some, uh, at Samsung.com, uh, they've got some really good how-tos. I mean, they break it down and they've got these uh, little things. So we're going to start off, with that blinking thing right there? No, on top of ah, the, So the, as you can see here, right here on the top of the device, you have your proximity sensors. And this is where... Uh, don't move it. Keep it there. And this is where most of your gestures uh, are actually housed. So as you use some of these gestures and as you see them, notice that the gestures are going to be centralized in this section here. There. Now they can see it. There Excellent. we go. Much better. Okay. And also, as you can see here, anytime you have gestures that are available, you can kind of see it from the top page here. I'm in the developer's mode, so I'm just going to kind of tie this phone over here next to it so you can see where you can actually have it. Uh, so anytime that there's gestures, whether it be up or down, you can kind of see them from that section over here. Where do I go? You want to do air gesture, quick glance? Awesome. So first one is our quick glance. This is one of my absolute favorites. So let's say if you are uh, away from your phone for a few minutes and you want to kind of check to see if you have any missed phone calls, text messages, things of that nature, just a quick hover over the proximity sensor and now you actually get a quick glance of your missed phone calls, text messages, battery life, and then you have your all sorts of anything in the notification panel, which is phenomenal. Get this centered. There we go. Okay. Awesome. And so just a real quick highlight again, just a quick hover over the proximity sensor. And this one kind of makes me feel like a wizard. Maybe I'm Harry Potter. Who knows? <laughs> You're the wonderful whiz that was. That is. That be? I like no? it. Okay, so uh, here's air jump. Awesome. So next one that we have here is, let's say if you are on a website. Let's just say we are on. I'm going to take this one out. We don't need this anymore. Good stuff. I'm going to go onto the internet here. And as you see, I am on Samsung.com. And you know what? I want to scroll down a little bit on this page. So I'm going to use a gesture like that. And I'm jumping down page by page. So no longer do I have to actually touch the screen. Right. I can use gestures such as this. So that's like an air move right there. Exactly. There we go. There's air move. Okay. Can you do that again? The same one that's on the screen? Uh, so if we go down to the air move, that one is going to be for, let's say if you're on your home page and you know what, maybe I want to have, you know what, I think I want to have my calendar in a different section. So I'm going to press and hold on that and I'm going to toggle back and forth. See, there you go. And now you can actually see as... You are a wizard. Oh. <laughs> So do you think I can be in a movie next? Uh, don't go that far. The wonderful <laughs> Wizard of Samsung? <laughs> Might be. <laughs> okay, I'm corny. Forgive uh, me. You can do a song. <laughs> Samsung Blue. Everybody needs one. There you go. I love it. So um, so that's air move. That's our air move. Excellent. And our next one, which is one of also my all-time favorites, and it's the air call accept. It's one of the ones that really kind of uh, stands out in my opinion. So I'm going to make a really quick phone call here to myself. Pull up my number. and call log and I'm gonna dial my number here so let's say you're eating a plate of wings or 
maybe you have those uh, those ribs right there, or maybe just your your hands are wet. You're working outside in the yard, and you can't really touch your phone, but you or, need. Or, uh, or you're changing your baby. I have a baby. No, you might be. <laughs> Somebody does. Somebody does. Somebody does. Hey, so, look, you're calling yourself. Uh oh. How do I answer it How with do you a quick answer? wave back and forth? So now my phone call answers and it goes right into speakerphone. And so as you can see there, there's more things you can do without having to actually Plus touch your phone. Plus, if you're driving, you can actually answer that way too. Mm-hmm. So I mean, you know, no one ever wants to have a distraction while you're driving, but you want to have as little distractions as possible. Absolutely. And when you don't, when if you can just wave your hand, if it's in like in a GPS, you uh, know, holder, mm-hmm. you know, where it's stuck up to your windshield, then you can just go like this, wave and answer the phone which is really nice it's one fewer thing to concern yourself with and it's kind of safe and uh kind of uh nice to just say hello to some of your neighbors that are driving past you oh <laughs> so you're saying hello <laughs> hello how are you <laughs> hey wise guy <laughs> so uh we're gonna move on to what else do we have oh group play oh man huh. so so let me ask you something you're on the go you're with a bunch of friends, and they say, okay, you want a party, dude? Who do you say? You, me, Samsung. Let's, Let's go, do it. man. Let's do it. Excellent. Oh. I don't know why I turned into a <laughs> surfer, but I did. So so you have more than one device. Where's the other one? Right over here. Oh, I stole it, didn't I? I'm a klepto, by the way. you, you got to watch me. I'm serious. So, now, I've so got, we got our two phones here, and we're, we're about to party hard right here. And you know what? We're going to start a little bit of a group play. Okay, cool. Let me get this. Uh, let's get the uh, get me out of here. We're going to put this here. Okay, excellent. Awesome. So group play is a new feature that we've uh, revamped from our previous devices. Uh, we used to be tied to a Wi-Fi network. Now it uses Wi-Fi Direct to connect to multiple devices, and you don't have to use any type of data at all. So it's Wi-Fi Direct, so you don't have to worry, to worry about data consumption with these uh, applications that I show. So group play. I'm going to tap on it here on my one device and you know what I'm going to create a group so I'm going to tap on this guy here I'm going to create a group and while that one is starting up I'm going to kind of join the party here so what are you hitting tell tell us what we're hitting as you're going along as I'm going here group play is this application right here if you can kind of see it so you start it on the one device Mm -hmm. so we start our group play here start it here absolutely and I'm going to go into group play on my other device okay so over here you're going to group play okay got it and since I've already created the group I'm going to click on join group which is the top button here I'm going to join that group and you know what today we are going to be able to select between sharing our music sharing pictures sharing documents such as presentations and playing games so you know what today let's go ahead and start with uh, the sharing of music so I'm gonna tap on that guy there and you know what I feel like hmm I feel like Adele is calling oh Adele I like Adele you like Adele I'm feeling a little sensitive right now Oh, let's roll in the deep <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that sounded weird. <laughs> so you know what? We got I got my one music my song is playing right here. Let's turn this guy up. There's a fire. Awesome. So right there you can see our group play is started so, here. So, so the party has started. Oh the party started. The party started. Now how do we make the party for more than one person? Absolutely. So as you can see here in the group, you can see where everyone else is in the group and you can connect up to eight different people in this group, which is awesome. So I'm going to tap here on share music because right now music is being shared. And now as you can see here, now I have two phones playing the same music. But not only that, since I created the music here and I started the group here, I can control all the other devices. So I'm going to actually tap on my volume button here as you can kind of see that this is going to... Oh, so let's go back to this view right here. There we go. Awesome. So as you can see here, I have my two phones going. I'm going to move up this volume key here. And so now I'm controlling the, the music on both devices. And not only that, I have my right speaker here and my left speaker here. If I wanted to, to really customize it, I can switch up my left and right speakers. I can also go into full stereo. And now we're we're jamming. So I'm going to break this down. We've got two devices playing the exact same thing at the same time. 
each one is taking part of the speaker. One is taking the uh, uh, one is taking the left hand side. One is taking the right hand side. And so, but you can do this with more than two, not just left for speaker, right speaker. Right? Absolutely. How, up to how many can you can you do this? You with? can do this up with up to eight different devices. Okay. So you can really get a you can get a party started here. Okay, the Brady Bunch. <laughs> I mean, that would have been a brand new Brady Bunch. You know what I mean? Maybe it's the first thing I'm thinking of. You know, or eight is enough. There you go. I'm I'm showing my age. Okay. <laughs> And to be on camera, I'm showing my age, but still, these are some really cool devices. It's a party starts when you start doing the uh, the group play, and you can really do this anywhere. And this is this makes it more of a communal device where it becomes there's synergy where Absolutely. you know more than one person. You've got the music going. You can do da people can be doing their dances. They could be practicing singing. They could just. Uh, be at work and everybody decide to play a song at one time. Girl, could be girls' night out or boys' <laughs> night out, you know, in the back of a limousine or something. So it's pretty cool. Okay. Got a question? Question, does the feature work with Bluetooth or Wi-Fi or Internet? Yeah, how does this work anyway? Oh. That's a good question. Who said that? Kissnet. Kissnet, Kiss thank Net, you for I love the question. It. I appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely, thank you, Kissnet. So with this one, it actually uses Wi-Fi Direct to actually create a, a closed circuit group between the multiple devices so that you can actually house information and send it back and forth freely without having to worry about um, data consumption or as we previously had in our uh, other devices where you have to be tied to a Wi-Fi network this is creating its own Wi-Fi direct network and connecting the devices together so it is using Wi-Fi but it's using low power uh, to send it back and forth correct between the two. and it's synchronized does it use Bluetooth too at the same time so the Wi-Fi direct is mm -hmm. a combination between Bluetooth and Wi-Fi mm -hmm. uh, connectivity yeah. so it uses the, the those two te technologies together okay cool cool so finally the again that synergy when you got two, <laughs> two things working together and it's not only the function of the device but it's the fa it's what it's how it works in the first place so that's pretty cool absolutely and what we've really tried to do with this device is make sure that we have something that uh, can really be a life companion and the ecosystem behind it is how it communicates with other devices other TVs and other phones so it's connecting your world together cool and uh, we're gonna make a little transition here so let's uh, move this up out of the way because we've got one final thing we're gonna be going over and so that was group play, and I love that feature. I just want to see people start using it a little bit more. You don't want to bust. Do it spontaneously. What are they called when they have spontaneous crowd all of a sudden? Oh, flash mob? Yeah, flash, flash mob. mob. Yeah, could you see a flash <laughs> mob being done? Well, that would be pretty cool. Hmm. Because each flash mob, flash you could have mob. multiple flash mobs, each one starting at the same time. And so a group of eight could be doing one part of the song a group of eight could be doing another part of the song i'm just saying you know i like it i, I know it. so i want to see the first i'm, I'm going to say i'm going to put it out there be the first flash mob to use uh this device and i'm going to go ahead and put you on my show so <laughs> i'm just saying <laughs> so you're going to be on the computer building show deal. seen by hundreds lucky you <laughs> <laughs> so finally we have um we have something called Smart Switch, and uh, I want to talk about Smart Switch for a second because Smart Switch is interesting. Now, Indeed. In the past, when you've had to move from device to device, um, you know, it's been a little difficult. You've had to go into your store, which, you know, at Verizon Wireless, we do a great job. There's a lot of companies who do a great job who sell the Samsung phone moving, moving it over. But you don't have to rely on that. Um, so like making a transition from say the Apple uh, iPhone to a Samsung device has gotten so much easier mm -hmm. and so um, there is uh, on the website itself um, they have you have some really easy ways to do this transfer and it's called it's called what it is called smart switch smart switch okay let me see if I can find smart switch here is that it oh yeah it's no that's not it there we go nice. so here's Here's the website. Is that it? No, that's not it. That's not it. There we go. We got yeah. it right there. And let's back it up a little bit. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Okay, so there's a on the website, and again, this is Samsung.com. Um, they've simplified the switch, so seamless time-saving content transfer. So if you can give me a little uh, a basic overview, and I'll run a little video. A absolutely. So what we wanted to do was we wanted to make it um, easy, and we want to take some of the limitations of switching from one device to another. Mm -hmm. So we came out with Smart Switch, which uh, allows you to, from either your 
Windows based PC or now your Mac, which is brand new for us. That actually just came out and it's updated now, so you okay. can use your Mac. Uh, it allows you to transfer your contacts, yep. pictures, pictures, text messages, Check. music, music, Check. Uh, absolutely. Music is uh, definitely a key for us, uh -huh. as well as your calendars, which has been a, a great feature for us to transition over. Mm -hmm. And uh, right now with uh, Apple iOS, we can actually transfer uh, applications using something called app match okay where it'll take the ios version of an application okay. and recommend and start the install of an android application excellent so we're going to show a little video a little bit about that we're going to break it down for you and uh here we go let's see it says right on the website it says tutorial video let's see it let's see it connect your iphone to your mac or pc then launch itunes Click the iPhone option and scroll down the Summary tab to backup. You'll need to backup your iPhone using iTunes. First, be sure to backup to this computer, not to iCloud. Next, make sure that the backup is not encrypted. The encryption option should remain unchecked. When you're ready, click Backup Now to begin, and iTunes will backup your iPhone and save the backup to your PC. Once completed, eject and disconnect the iPhone. Then, close iTunes. Now, connect your Samsung Galaxy S4. Open the Smart Switch PC tool and wait for it to detect and connect to your Samsung Galaxy S4. Once Smart Switch detects your device, it will open Step 1. Step 1 lets you select the backup. Smart Switch should automatically detect the iPhone backup created in iTunes. Now click Next. Step 2 will show all the content that Smart Switch was able to fetch from the iPhone backup. By default, all content is auto-selected. If one of the file options is grayed out, for instance wallpaper or podcast, it means the items were not included in the backup. The bar at the bottom of Smart Switch indicates the total size of the content to be transferred. When you're ready to transfer the content to your Samsung Galaxy S4, click Start Transfer. Smart Switch will transfer your content from the PC to the connected Samsung Galaxy S4. Do not disconnect your device until the transfer is complete. Step 4 shows the status after the transfer has completed. The Smart Switch PC tool will transfer all the available content, including a list of apps. Now click Exit and disconnect the Galaxy S4 from your Mac or PC. On your Galaxy S4, look through your contacts, photos, music, and more to be sure the content is transferred. Now, to begin downloading apps to your new device, be sure you are connected to a Wi-Fi or cellular network. Visit the Google Play Store and download the Smart Switch app. Then, launch the Smart Switch mobile app on your Galaxy S4. Read the terms and conditions and privacy policy and click Agree to continue. A quick tutorial about the Smart Switch mobile app will appear. Read and click Next, then read and click Done. On the main page of Smart Switch is the Matches tab and Recommendations tab. The Matches tab shows applications that have exact matches in Google Play Store. Swipe the screen. And by the way, I love this feature. I'm going to stop the video for one second because it will find your apps that are either exactly the same app through the Play Store or something that is comparable and it gives you multiple uh, multiple ones. I'm going to continue. To see the Recommendations tab, Recommendations shows apps that do not have an exact match in the Google Play Store. The icon shown is an iOS app, but when you tap the app, a drop-down of Recommendations for Google Play Store apps appears. To download an app, simply tap the icon and the Play Store will open. Tap Install and then Accept and Download to download to your device. Excellent. So that is what do you call that again? It's a name? beautiful story of convergence. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I think it's the Adele got. I think the Adele got to you. Yeah. No, it's pretty cool. It, 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 it's it's simple. It's it's very straightforward. It's easy to use, and the download is directly from uh, from the website. And Absolutely. Isn't, isn't that um, uh, something new about the program? Absolutely. And the, the newest thing is that it's now available on your Mac PC, so okay. you, you really have uh, less limitations on transferring over to a Galaxy 4 to phone today. Okay. Getting it from this guy. Oh, yeah. Call me. <laughs> Call me. Call me. 561-542-1829. Not now. No, not this second. But go to the website starting tomorrow. You'll be able to fill out the form. And really, serious calls only. Um, this is my livelihood, and I do appreciate it. So, okay, I think that pretty much uh, covers all the things that I wanted people to know. Excellent. Because I think it's pretty important that people realize what all they can do because you know they're, they're shelling out some money they're going into contracts you know they, they this is their device that is going to that they're gonna 
wake up to and go to sleep with, you know, at the end of the day. You can kind of marry your device because it's a way people communicate these days. So when you do it, do it right. And I think you've got some great products. I appreciate the fact that you came to the show today. My pleasure. It's yeah. been an honor. Yeah, and we're going to be uh, answering some questions uh, from the chat room directly afterwards. So uh, let's put this thing up right here. Um, I want to... Uh, I want to say to you guys, thank you for coming out tonight. We're not going anywhere. We're going to hang out uh, in the chat room um, and talk to you guys, answer all of your questions. And I got more stuff I want to talk to you about after the show. But thanks for coming. Um, check out the schedule because um, you look on the schedule at computability.com. I'm going to let you know when our next shows are. We'll tweet you before we go live. Follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter. And. Uh, at the end of the day, thank you, Mr. Jonathan Jones, for coming by tonight. It's my pleasure. Ebony and Ivory. I'm telling you, right? <laughs> so we're the Oreo cookie of, uh, the, of the geek world today, right? Why not? <laughs> anyway, um, I'm Scott Liberto. This is... Jonathan Jones from Samsung. And as always, happy computing. Thanks, guys.